Hey guys, Shane. Uh, just uh, biking today up to Mount Bachelor. Just uh, made up to the summit here. Uh, actually, just the Pine Martin West. The summit's can't see the summit today. Not such a great uh, view day, but I was just listening to a podcast on my drive up and uh, wanted to share a few thoughts with you here while it was fresh in my mind. Uh, listening to the Dave Ramsey Leadership Podcast and. If you don't listen to that, I highly recommend it. Yeah, they're so good. It's the stuff they hit on there is so good. But today they're talking about excellence in the ordinary. And uh, really just kind of hit me as I was writing that I've let a few things slip in my life recently. I'm just kind of coasting and you know, sometimes having success in certain areas can allow you to become complacent. And uh, a lot of stuff to slip. So I've, this is uh, what I'm saying here is just as much for me as for anybody else. Uh, listening, but I'm hoping that it'll kind of, it'll uh, touch you as well and be uh, be meaningful to you, but, you know, something Dave was talking about, and I was thinking about, i my microphone up too much here, but, is, you think of anybody that is successful, think of your favorite athlete, leader, politician, co-worker, president, and, uh, I'm going to switch directions here so maybe the wind won't hit as much. But they didn't get there by accident. They didn't get there with luck. And they didn't get there overnight. They were excellent in the ordinary things that they do every single day. You know, I had the opportunity to hear Steve Young speak in person recently, and he was talking about leadership and uh, some few different things. But one of the things he talked about was after he won his Super Bowl, the first Super Bowl, sorry, he went to the stadium that next morning, and he just kind of wanted to bask in the glory. And he drove up, and he was sitting there, and there was another car in the parking lot. And he thought, well, that's weird. Why is anybody here? We just won yesterday. And he looked out, and on the field, someone was running. And they weren't just running. They were running routes. And he's like, oh, my goodness. What in the world? is? Who is that? And he looked out, and it was Jerry Rice running routes. You know, Jerry Rice didn't get to be the best receiver of all time by sitting on his hands. And the day after the Super Bowl, he was out there working hard again because he wanted to be excellent and he knows to run his routes the best he needs to practice and that just hit me really hard and you know just awesome but uh i don't care what it is you're doing you know it's summertime right now and although you can't really tell here up at mount bachelor today it looks a little more like winter and it's about 40 degrees and i'm I can hardly feel my fingertips after riding up here on my bike but um don't have a summertime vacation mentality you know it's kind of funny a lot of us as we as we get older, we still have summer vacation mentality, you know, when the summer hits and we let off the gas in what we're doing. And, you know, I'm not saying don't have fun in the summer or that you can't go out and uh, float the river. I was floating the river earlier this week and uh, I was doing it. It was fun. It was great. But keep the foot, your foot on the pedal. Keep moving forward. And, uh, you know, being diligent is not just working hard or just not just being excellent, but it's being excellent over time. Not just over a day or a week or even a month, maybe even years. And what I want to see for everyone in my life and in my own life, and hopefully everybody that listens to this, is that you'll be excellent. You'll be diligent. You'll have excellence over time. And you know what? If you do that, it's going to pay off. You're going to reap the rewards. And I don't know where you are right now in your cycle. If you're plowing the field or if you're planting the seeds or maybe you're weeding or maybe you're in that lucky stage of harvest. And it's not luck. The truth is we all know that. It's not luck, right? Maybe you're harvesting. It's a lot more fun to harvest. Or maybe you're just waiting for the rain right now because we know that sometimes it's not all in our control. But wherever you are, I would just encourage you to have diligence and to have excellence over time. So that's it. I'm going to head back down the mountain now. I climbed about 2,500 feet to get up here. And uh, I'm looking more uh, looking forward to the ride down, uh, hitting some fast speeds and having fun and uh, cruising back down uh, to our back down to Sun River. So I hope this means something to you and uh, encourage you and I want you to hold me accountable too, but to be diligent and to be excellent over time. That's it. Thanks.